started saying that. Yes. And he, he, you remember when Bushiri yes. had a crusade yes, yes. at the uh, Heroes and where he made a lot of money mm. and miracle money? Yes. Where people received the miracle money and they are. So, 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 so that, that is very fatal. Why did yes. he say all this to making that noise? That, 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 that's the reason why he had to invite because uh, uh, they, they say Bushiri is a son, to uh, Angel to is a papa, mm. is his papa. Like he so he told him to say there is money Fidel. and a lot of following in Zambia. Can you come? Mm. If you are going to tell me about miracle money, I condemn that one even today. You cannot talk about miracle money. They use that side. How did Jesus make that miracle money from the fish? Okay? Mm-hmm. I always say this. Okay, check your bank account. Guys, are you telling me to say someone else went to deposit money in my account and the bank, when they check the money where it's coming from, they just find my account is fat start with and the, without the source? Mm. No. Only about uh, these two that you've said. We have men of God here. I've watched them, I've heard them. Some of them are just like, hey, this I can't hear. Yeah. listen. So here is a man of God. Three quarters of his sermon, he's talking about himself. Mm. And less than a quarter, mm. he's talking about, uh, 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 that's when he talks about mm. God Jesus. or Jesus. Mm. So, uh, do you know me? When I was this, it's like everything is pointed to you. Yes. The gro- God so says, I share God with my, my motivation speaks. <laughs> 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 Uh, so, uh, gentlemen, I was looking at, uh, I came across a video online this week which, which struck a nerve with me uh, of uh, Hubert Angel uh, castigating Zambia and South Africa in particular to say if you look at Zambia and South Africa, there is no single globally known man of God because we persecute them. If you remember, I don't know if it's in 2018 where he was deported at uh, by then it wasn't uh, Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, it was Osaka International Airport, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Uh, he didn't even disembark the plane. Uh, Bushidi was so... Was he deported or was simply banned uh, from coming? He was banned, he was allowed to come. <clears throat> so, he says that uh, these two nations don't have a man of God of that stature because we persecute them. What do you think? Uh, is this something on solid ground in terms of doctrine or those kinds they pull? Muzi. Yeah, so for me, I also looked at that and I laughed. The statement, the word he used is uh, popular. There is no popular yes. uh, preacher in Zambia and uh, South, Africa. South Africa. So for me, I looked at the job of a man of God, a prophet or the clergy. Do you go there to win popularity uh-huh. as if you are a musician or an actor. an actor or that? Yeah, so. We've got a lot of credible men of God, and usually the Bible is very clear when it comes to, to men of God to say that job is not popular. Yes. They are to say you, you are entering in an office where you'll be hated because you are preaching the truth. Especially people who preach the truth and live a, a, a straight line. A straight line. It's, it's very difficult to be popular. Yes. But in terms of impact, I think if you talked of impact, we don't have an impactful uh, preacher in Zambia. There we could have a discussion, not a uh, yes. so popularity, I think, for me. I, I agree with you because what, what I feel is that, especially these two, in particular, Bushiri and uh, Hubert Angel, they put a lot of stars. If you remember, at some point, we used to have uh, magic shows like. Uh, I can't read, I can't black, whatever. Mm-hmm. Those, those are the stunts they pull. That thing of, no, I'm flying, you know, I'm missing a step. Like, those, those stunts. That, that's now cinema. Like, they try to yeah. create the uh, cinematics. So, uh, they, they want to bring that nonsense in Zambia. You know, uh, there, there are certain things that um, Zambia is known for. And uh, our doctrine in terms of, we've got serious uh, men of God that stand yes, on solid yes, ground. Yeah. So, if we were to have a conversation with these two gentlemen to say, Let's put the Bible here and let's base all our arguments on the Bible. On the because this is not based on how, you, how many people follow you, how much money you've made, yeah. whatever. Because all the stunts, you can easily do yeah. an illegal thing and you make money. It's like those uh, one nine, is it four, four nine guys in Nigeria, those big people. Yeah, those they were, were Yahoo boys or whatever. Yes. So you cannot say, no, there are no millionaires in Zambia, and then you start comparing them to Yahoo boys, the, the legit. So, men of God that are stand on solid ground, we do have them. Hello. But people yeah. like pull stands such like that, we don't allow that. That's why even that guy was pull, uh, you yeah. say one and stuff. Yeah, so I, I think even uh, the, the abolishing of the religious uh, uh, ministry for me, I think it's, 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 it, it didn't sit well, very well with me. That ministry was growing and it had a lot of, uh, uh, in terms of uh, 
a lot of work mm. and in, in those lines where they also look at uh, proper clergy you mm. we, we had a lot of uh oh filter in the mud yes we had a lot of uh, preacher men who mushroomed from nowhere started misleading people started uh, raping and sleeping with girls started doing a lot of magic so yes. they sought to say mm. and you know uh, yes yes yeah, we, we are praying with uh, uh, god yeah, and uh, i think those are some of the serious uh, uh thing the bible talks about where you bring a case on a nation if such things are tolerated i think mm. that was a very good uh, stance the previous government put in i think uh, when it, it was capped off by this government i think personally mm. i didn't uh, subscribe and didn't see well, in what are your thoughts on these two gentlemen saying no you do not have uh, stuntmen here uh, yeah. you know that part where we are talking and um, the hot chocolate is really, <laughs> it's really hitting the right um, taste buds in the mouth and you just continue like so no, these guys continue let me just continue enjoying my hot chocolate now come on this thing is tasting nice director papa you may never give me hot chocolate don't you say it again bro but, but yeah. i think we should go in the trend of like every time we should be taking hot chocolate no, but, i'm okay with hot chocolate but anyway coming to what you're saying uh, hopefully my hot chocolate is not going to uh, get cold mm-hmm. yeah now um, the statement has got uh, two sides yeah uh, my interpretation of it um, i want to look at it from the positive aspect like the statement that you say that first where you say um, um doesn't have a prominent um, uh, Man, man of god, god that is popular popular no no I'm, I'm trying to avoid the word popular popular, <laughs> popular is like um who is more popular let's go for elections yeah, who is more popular yeah. mm-hmm. but things to do with god has got nothing to do with popular yeah. but has got everything to do with genuinity and substance. you know the statement popular is misleading but the other statement to say we persecute them mm-hmm. i want to support that mm-hmm. oh you support that yes. we do persecute persecute mm-hmm. you see in uh, this country we persecute ourselves a lot more today today i want to believe uh, i don't want to go politics like owen has said uh, because uh, at the end of it all this country is so bad that we have politicized everything mm. should a man of god stand on the pulpit say something against the sitting government mm. even when it is true mm. he's become uh, political political inclined political inclined so if this man of god is going to say something against maybe uh, a certain uh, politician whether in government or church meaning the people that follow that uh, person they automatically become enemies to that man of god yes we have had issues to with uh, men of god here allegations no do you know what this i've heard a lot of things um, let me use an example of uh, our prominent and most celebrated man of god here mm. bishop joy makando mm. you we have heard how many things have been said about the blessing center yes. i am not even bread of life myself mm. But I, I think I followed Bread of Life very keenly and uh, closely. And I don't like the fact, I've heard sometimes I'm on a bus. Mm. I remember those times like uh, I'm on a bus from Matero. Uh, I hear, hey, I'm like, you know, I'm privileged to know information about yes, that. Yes. I, you remember the time when uh, um, Bread of Life bought uh, a... Hammer, hammer, hammer when, for when, the bishop. Yes, yeah, that's no, what he's been eating. Money. <laughs> they even got a hammer. You know, I was, I was in front yeah. of life that day. Same thing with the bread of life. Yes. There. yes. There. So that is uh, that is the thing. I'm not talking about bread of life, but I was in church that day when they say this bishop's birthday. What are we going to do? Mm. I'm not bread of life, but I was in bread of life that time, yeah. and I know what transpired. Yeah. And I had privilege to pe- to people that were in. Uh, organizing committees on how they come up to the decision to and the bishop had nothing to do mm-hmm. with that mm-hmm. we have heard um, uh, even uh, bishop nambi the uh, prescription center mm-hmm. yeah no this look mm-hmm. at men of god are building very uh, expensive thing we persecute them true okay we persecute them how many how many men of god today have you heard uh, have you not heard the story do you know that man of god likes sleeping with the girls yes yes they are there but the level of persecution we don't celebrate ourselves yeah, and so what i say hold on what i say okay we don't celebrate ourselves i'll give you an example i'm not against a certain man of god from uh, the late 
in Nigeria. Mm. But you see, here is a you person. Joshua. Yeah, here is a person who is in this church. Okay, and it's got doubt of uh, the man of God that you go to. Quite alright. Yes, yeah, the yeah, issues yeah, of church they have got yeah, giftings yeah, and yeah, other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you see people who actually frequent certain places. It's because we don't celebrate our men of God. Okay. The same uh, Bushiri and the Hubert Angel. Hubert Angel. They have received the people from our country. Mm. How do you expect them not uh, to respect us if we are not? And some of these people that go to other men of God, including Bushir, mm. they don't speak Ill, uh, good things about our men of God here. Mm. Obviously, they go, no, I went to this person, he did nothing. He Can you, you imagine this? He did this to us. You use that format. Is that the way it's supposed to work? Quite alright, I'm looking at a person goes for solutions. If uh, this man is able to offer solutions, <laughs> solutions they will go there, you see. If our man of God is not offering solutions, solutions yeah. we are yeah. not going to compel people to say like, ah no, just sit here, stay so, here. Yeah, is is point where it shouldn't be like that. But when you go to those men of God out of your country, can you speak also well about No, you can't. If where... he says you haven't got the results, it's like you've got a problem away. Okay. You go to some it's man of God in Zambia, the results don't come. You go to so, this so, so, and... Okay, maybe about persecution. I think for me, mm. there is no persecution we can call persecution. So what do you call those examples? that? Like? So those are basically normal. Criticism mm. is normal. Mm. Yes. Politicians are criticized, clergymen, even T.B. Joshua. You remember T.B. Joshua when he went to Israel? Mm. He confessed to say, I'm not liked in Nigeria. Mm. And the way you've received me, mm. I'm planning to, to put what, a synagogue mm. of all nations in, 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 Israel. in, in Israel. There was those uh, plans, in... plans and those uh, the, the prime minister of Israel promised and they started mm. working out those uh, modalities on how we can have one, <coughs> one branch here. So every person, even those Bushiri and whatever, in their country, they, they know what they do. They, if it's Zimbabwe, he actually was cast from his country. They know yes. what example you Zimbabwe. Yes. You know what is Zimbabwe, right? Yes, Zimbabwe. that guy and is Zimbabwe. He cannot go back to he, he can't even go back to his country. He's gone. He, even, um, I think, Bushiri uh, and uh, uh, Angel, they can't even go to Botswana. Botswana banned. Mm. Uh, but there's a reason why they picked South Africa and Zambia because the market is very fatal. Yes. That's really, it's not so the, basically, <laughs> basically, they know how much we love our God. Yes. And they want to come. And tap into uh, that. Or, it's and a business. That, Bro, yes. Okay, that is your interpretation. Of the <laughs> it's not. Yeah, you, you see why I'm saying that? You see why I'm saying that? Yes. And he, you remember when Bushiri had yes. the crusade yes, yes. that they had uh, heroes and where he made a lot of money mm. and miracle money? Yes. Where people received the miracle money and there. So, 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 so the so second, that, that is very fatal. Why did yes. you say what is making that noise? That, 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 that's the reason why he had to invite, because uh, uh, they, they say Bushiri is a son, to uh, Angel to. is a papa, mm. is his papa. Like he so he told him to say there is money Fidel. and a lot of following in Zambia. Can you come? Mm. So when you, you see the, about the, you see the issue of the church of and God. money, mm. The men of God, yes, the men of God advised the religious ministry to say, people who attended mm. and people who are close to this mm. have given us this information. information. These guys are not proper people. Mm. Can you, yes, can you, can you, not, you them them. Yes, we, we are going to have a case in yes. our nation allowing such magicians Stunts. to come I can and, fly, I can walk on water, yes, please. to come and pray with down. our people in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. So I see, I, I that's yeah, where take I a different. Mean, please go. Yeah, you're free. Um, <laughs> you see, you see what you're saying. Uh, I've had uh, situations and discussions with people on things like that. Now, one, it's a situation where we know when you're going to talk about Christianity, if you're going to say we're going to have a case, how about other religions which this nation is saying is a Christian nation? Mm. Are you going to say no as a religious, a means of religious, can you ban these other religions? Because these other religions actually they're chanting literally things like uh, you, you can literally see, we are not saying this and that, he says, but it allows. Mm. So the important thing that we need to do as a nation or as men of God, as women of God, as children of God, and whatever you want to call it, mm. we need to now begin to, you know, when you tell your child, don't go and eat wawene. Mm. Okay? Though I had some, uh, this is just, I had it with myself, a girl who said like, she came at our place. She said, ah, 
So she goes like, but I'll dance him, and she goes like, ah, I don't need a sacco dance him. But in the US, I don't need it. You know that kind of thing. So now, it's a situation where someone can go to another church. I don't need a sacco dance him. And they say, many people do that. So you see what happens is that uh, when talk of Christianity on uh, that uh, thing, you know, it's a situation because you've been fed the real food. Yeah. When you go there, you'll not go there a second time. Let them come mm. because you know you trust your children. You know you've done the right thing, mm. okay? And you know the ground is fatal. But that's what the majority of people. Mm. Mm. Majority Unfortunately, people are, yes. are very gullible. The majority of people are very gullible. Meaning, we are not doing fine as a nation in terms of Christianity. <laughs> our men of God here are not doing their job. Our men of God here are not doing our work. You and so, me as Christians, we're also not doing our work so because okay. we need to go out there to go and preach the gospel. So if that person goes to a nganga, because me, when you tell you bring someone who's genuine and who's not genuine, chances that I'm going to know who's yeah. genuine. Why? Because I've been fed the real stuff. Someone, mm. someone labored to uh, give me the real stuff. Mm. Okay? It's my responsibility to give real food there, mm. hard stuff mm. in terms of Christianity. The men of God are supposed to do that. Mm. When you bet Angel comes here, he finds seven people, is he going to come again? He's not going to come. So you don't tell and begin to force to say, let's do this. Because at the end of it, oh, there's also a personal thing. Like, my church is attracting this number. And this guy foreign comes and attracts a, a good number. I think, I'm not sure. But I, think I never saw TB Joshua in this country. Uh, well, but he wasn't bad. I don't think he was. He, did he have a... No, he wasn't bad. But I think there was a time where I should have heard, I don't know how, rumor, uh, how true that rumor was. Mm. Only well, like there was so much... Uh, prevention of him, him coming. coming to, yeah, uh, but then again, you know, he visited, visited all the countries. I think he visited Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Most Zambians went to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think there were plans to visit because you know Zambians. You remember Chiruba went to TV. Yes, 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 uh, yes, yes. And uh, I think there was some uh, Chiruba wanted to to save under TV. Mm -hmm. So I think that politicized everything. So the the then government. Yeah, this is. I always say. I always say. Even on this show, in this country, everything is politics. <laughs> but you can't avoid politics. Just like you cannot. No, say. it's not every time that we need to attach politics to it. You know, there's an individual. There's a first. There's you as MD, mm. and there's also you as an individual. Just an individual when you're alone and stuff like that. Mm. So when you're doing things to do with Christianity, you're an individual. You're not a political uh, person. Mm. No, okay. Unfortunately, these two are very difficult to separate. But mm. it is not every time that we need to politicize because it is not sitting with the other person. How do I attack you? I need to channel it to become politics. So in this country, so Mlang, I ask you this question, then. Mm. You say you are able to discern where the doctrine is wrong if someone is giving you the wrong doctrine. Yes. So, what's your evaluation of Uber Tenjo and <coughs> I'm sure you've seen some of their stats. You know, mm. I've read books um, by um, uh, Bishop uh, Oedepo. Mm -hmm. He's written a lot of books and he's deep in his books. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've, read, I've read books by um, Benson. Idaosa. Mm -hmm. I've read books by John Higgins. Mm -hmm. I've read books by uh, um, Joe Austin. Mm -hmm. I've read books about a lot of men of God. There's one thing that I've told myself and what I've learned from mm -hmm. them. You do not know what follows them. I don't condemn what follows them because I actually learned to say, the Bible says, touch not my anointed ones, mm. not do harm to them. Mm. Not even comment. So there was a person who... Not even comment. Not even comment. <laughs> so, no so, one is easy. <laughs> so, so I think those are some of... Uh, some, of, right. some, of, some of... You remember the, the, the children that were the, laughing at... Uh, is it Elijah with uh, good uh, head? Uh, and he commanded uh, uh, the uh, uh, prayers uh, and came uh, and devoured uh, them uh, and uh, stuff uh, like that. Uh, I read a book by... And that's uh, the uh, weapon uh, they use. Uh, that's that's you see, yes, the weapon they use. But you know what What I'm trying to say? I'm not going to influence you. No, no, you can't. No, I just said you're going to influence someone. So I avoid that. The thing of questioning should be there. Uh -huh. Jesus was questioning yes. who are these men of God for, them not say, for, not, for them not to be criticized and questioned. When Mary poured a, a bottle of uh, expensive perfume on him, now we people questioned question and say, why has it's Jesus... It's a hot chocolate. It's a hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> why has Jesus but allowed take the, uh, uh, Mary to pour that expensive uh, perfume in on, his, his on his feet instead of selling it and giving it to the poor. Mm. People are going to question. 
the Pharisees and the the the, 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 the Sadducees. They always questioned whatever things mm. Jesus did. So I think the issue of hiding do not touch the anointing okay. on certain things. My comment is this. I, my comment is this. On Bushiri and the Bushiri. I'm not saying they're genuine or they're not genuine. Okay. My comment is this. If they do, including in my church, yeah. where I go, there are times someone is sit, standing in church there in the front, mm -hmm. and they've said something which I know very well <laughs> in the Bible. <laughs> that which I've said is not yeah. really, mm -hmm. it is their mind, but they're speaking as if it's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I keep quiet and I say, that is not true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is up to me now to see. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says when the Holy Spirit comes, he will dis make you discern to know what is right yeah. mm -hmm. and what is wrong. Mm -hmm. And there's a time where your spirit is not sitting well. If you're going to tell me about miracle money, mm -hmm. I condemn that one even today. You cannot talk about miracle money. Mm -hmm. They use that, uh, how did Jesus make that miracle money from the fish? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That is a thing. Because you know, there's a book that I was reading that says, you know, certain things, uh, they will not be in the Bible, but at that particular time, because it is necessary and it is important for that miracle to happen in form of miracle money, it can happen. It's a possibility and it can be genuine. But it should not be always like, no, check your bank account. Mm -hmm. I always say this, okay, check your bank account. Guys, are you telling me to say, someone else went to deposit money in my account, and the bank, when they check the money where it's coming from, they just find my account is fat, it's fat without, and the, without the source. Mm. No. I think, okay, what's the system? It's like, God has given us a responsibility to make systems and to do everything so, here. If you're able to filter out, they say... Um, a, a prophet once he misses one prophecy. That's not from God. That's that, that's it. But you know that, that's the standard. Of There's God. a human aspect of uh, thing. You know when you talk about Bible, I'll not lie to you. Mm -hmm. I I I I I have taken interest in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I have uh, gone at least to a certain uh, depth mm -hmm. in terms of studying the Bible. This is not boasting or what. Mm -hmm. uh, as you were saying, putting a disclaimer. And yeah, yeah. So, but, <laughs> but when it comes to that. Mm -hmm. I, there are, those are things I speak with confidence because mm -hmm. I know I have read it. I know I have come. So you've disputed one element of their ministry, Miracle Money. Miracle Money. Yes. So when I go to, to their meeting yes. and they're not speaking things to do with God. Yes. What are you thinking of uh, there's a chicken in your fridge, there's a orange? That's, a, that's a stupid thing. Sorry, I'm holding it that way. But that's this a stupid thing. No, the highlight see, of no that, okay, that one, yes, I, I agree with you. The comment that is there is. What has something to say? When Jesus says what? Go in the world and preach the gospel. Mm. And Jesus, his message was the kingdom of God is at hand. Mm. How is that contributing to salvation? Yeah, so, so I think that's why we, we are also saying that is what makes them popular. Yes. And that is what the Zambian people are refusing because Zambian people have been fed mm. with the proper gospel. Yes. You know Zambia, for us to be declared in the Christian, Christian nation. nation, in terms of Southern Africa, they are, we received every credible credit. Mm -hmm. Graham has been here. And you remember the impartation of the neighbors, Mumbas, and everything like mm -hmm. that. We've also got, uh, is it um, that one who used to come on ZNBs? I believe mm -hmm. in miracle. Was us, um, <laughs> The one who prophesied kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. that Shiruba would be a president. Uh, what is his name? Stan... But yeah, I don't need him gone. Yes, 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 yes. 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 We, we receive... Ernest Angels! Yes, yes. Ernest Angels. Yes. <laughs> we had those early credible people visited Zambia and we did a lot of crusade and ministries to, to reach, for our Christianity to reach where it is. We were privileged to be read by Chiruba, who came from that background and declared uh, Zambia, Christian Zambia Christian nation. Ch uh, Kaunda also came from a family of clergy. His river. father was a reverend and all that. So I think we are able to, to see some of those things. That's the reason why we've got a majority saying mm -hmm. no to those things. Yes. And we've also got the naive that we need to protect. Yes. That have not read the truth in depth. All they go for is those times. Yes, they, they, they want, you know. But they you see are, the problem that well, comes before in. Before I lose my thought, the same thing you called stupid when uh, a prophet tells you, I've seen two chickens mm -hmm. in your face. You are it's wearing stupid. a red underwear. Yes, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. They are all those. You haven't seen those prophecies. Yes. Those prophecies. Yes. Those prophecies. Yes. Where they are even yes. able to tell you the phone number. Yes. Do I know you? No. no. Do I know you? Are women? Never. Let me tell you your, your phone passport number. Yeah. You are, you are a king for our phone. No. And, and that's, yes. he's giving you examples why Zambia. No, I have seen that. I have seen that. But see, the question that comes in in that, okay, it is now your responsibility. The responsibility of men of God to actually go flat out mm -hmm. to make sure and those to stay away to not to stay away <laughs> to make sure those who you are see you cannot prevent out. you know what what is a child eh? mm. a child coming from home mm. you cannot prevent a child from being exposed to things that are yes, not yes, yes, correct yes. and yes. things that you do not support yes. as a child mm. as a parent mm. Mm. so as in, but, but, yes. Yes. so what it is is what you feed your child mm. should be enough to safeguard him or her mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. Because you have the people like Bushiri out there. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now it is a responsibility. So now the question comes in, what about orphans? Mm -hmm. Okay? Now that is where now humanity comes in. There are people that uh, don't go to church, but when we are going to crusade, mm -hmm. let's go to crusade. emphasis on that. Because I'm wondering about the news. Okay, no, it's okay. I, I, I. So, what I'm trying to put across on that, these guys, they say you do not have popular men of God. Men of God. It's time we also begin to celebrate and put our own there. Yeah. We have not done that. Okay. But well, that is the part that I'm agreeing. Okay. You know, we've got a lot of uh, bishops, we've got a lot of uh, people, Christian voice, and there's another radio station that. Uh, one love radio. Yeah, one love radio. Yeah, one love radio. Yeah. So radio. Yes, radio. Yes, I'm a radio. But I want to say the two prominent ones. Yes, the Catholics have had uh, this and that. So at the end of it all, how many times have we celebrated our men of God? As, as a TPN Zambia foreign. It is still yeah, like, it's not it's not functional. Mm -hmm. I think those are some of the some of the features. Some of the features like the Nigeria has got a lot of uh, uh free to wear channels, channels where these men of God are even here Kenya, it was it had came yeah, with, also got to we had a lot of channels on uh, strong TV. Mm -hmm. I don't know how mm -hmm. it's still there or what. Mm -hmm. Even this other free to air channels that we still have. Yeah, but everyone that has survived this covenant among those channels. That yes, we we have. Ne we've never had our own. Uh, we don't have a Christian. Right. Uh, so, so those are the things where we are saying. But when it comes to those uh, stupid things, sorry, I'm calling them stupid. They are. Uh, they are. But you cannot filter one and say no. But they are. They are genuine man of God. No, I'm not saying they're genuine. Mm. And I'm not saying they're not genuine. I don't want to. You see what you are saying? Right, eh? If you are lukewarm, I'll spit you out. That's no, what I'm being not warm lukewarm. lukewarm. I'm not being lukewarm. I've got my personal thing which I don't want to to, yeah. to influence you based on what I'm thinking oh, okay. or saying. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to put across, I'm just trying to be like as neutral as I can be. Okay. But all I can do is I'll feed you what is right. Mm -hmm. When this person says that what is not right, mm -hmm. I will, you will not say that is not right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know, it is not only about uh, these two that you've said. We have men of God here. I've watched them. I've mm. heard them. Mm. Some of them are just like, hey, this I can't hear. Yeah. Listen. So here is a man of God. Three quarters of his sermon, he's talking about himself. Mm. And less than a quarter, mm. he's talking about, uh, 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 that's when he talks about With God Jesus. or Jesus. Mm. So, uh, do you know me? When I was this, it's like everything is pointed to you. Yes. The God, God says, like I share like glory like with you. My motivation speaks. Hey, like I've heard certain men of God who stand right in church and says, This one is not a genuine man of God, don't follow him. Mm. And this is a pastor. Mm. I don't uh, subscribe so to that. that. Uh, I've but it's, it's his job to guide his ship or whatever. No, as a, so no your yeah. job as a pastor is to give me the correct doctor. information. And then don't you know, I'll give you an example. As people, a good yeah. shepherd, mm. you don't begin to tell sheep like, Mudia Mauzo, yeah, yeah, not yeah. No, Fendira, Fendira. Uh -huh. Your job is you know to say there is some good pasture there. Yes. So you lead the sheep to the good pasture and you watch. Mm. So they eat, they do the eating on their own. Mm. Okay? They do the eating. You don't begin to know, open your mouth now. Okay, you don't do that. Mm. That is that is that is wrong. Okay, so these your us we need to do is but, uh, at 
maybe they also we look at the baby Christians if, if who the are sheep, the majority yeah the, the, the baby sheep obviously there will be some guidance of some sort where you need to tender them uh, more uh, carefully compared to these that who are, are the baby Christians and why are you calling them baby Christians for instance they, they, they were not in church, mm. they, they grew up not knowing Christ, yes. so they start now, they get saved, they come into the kingdom. Obviously, they are not going to differentiate between those things that we're calling stupid and stance and magic. Them, it will be, hey, it's That's a proper up. man of God. Yeah. You know, so obviously, before you teach them the truth and they are solid in the, in the, in the things of God, mm. obviously, you need to guide them and, and protect them at that period before they are stolen by these uh, magicians. When you talk about things of God, <laughs> uh, they're very deep things then. Yes. Yeah. When someone receives Christ in their heart, mm -hmm. okay? when someone receives Christ in their heart mm -hmm. and they receive the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. it is not you to guide them, it is God that guides them. Yes. Okay? They have the compass, God has got a compass on them, mm -hmm. they are his children. And God says he's a jealous God. Yeah. You see, um, I believe a person has got um, the spirit of discernment. You do not descend on your own. It is actually the descent, the spirit, the Holy Spirit. But the level of information that you receive uh, matters also. I, I, so I'm, coming, I'm, coming to that. I'm coming to that. The level of information that you receive when it comes to that is, look, this information that you have is able to guide you towards this and it's able to protect you from that. Inside you, Inside you, there's something, there's a certain conviction that you, you have. Mm. I know when you talk of people that have been converted to Christianity, they are still accustomed in their mind to the things of the old. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that mind is too uh, active. So it is that flesh that gets to be killed. Mm. Okay? So when the flesh is being killed, and that aspect of the spirit becomes active to them. So at that particular time, yes, you need to tell them A, B, C, D. Yeah. So the only thing that I can tell you, or maybe to, in agreement, I would say uh, we begin to guide people by telling them to say, this is how you know a man of God, genuine man of God, and this is how you know a, uh, a, fake. a fake. So you guide them. It is one of the first information we need to give to Christians. New content. Yes. Then again, you also look at the background. Look at the background. Search more, research more about the man of God, what they are capable of doing, what they have done, and... You know, read and uh, do something, some research about that. Okay. I think it will be, will be cause 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 cause. You want to say something about discipleship? Yeah. Mm. So, <clears throat> like uh, you have mentioned about uh, killing the flesh, I think in the killing of the flesh there, that's where now the discipleship part comes in. I think Pentecostal churches need to invest so much in uh, discipling and the proper duration. I've seen uh, uh, SDA, they have those uh, Saturday classes, they call Saturday classes, where they sit every Saturday to decide or to make sure those who, um, who were recently converted into Christianity are discipled, they are given uh, proper doctrines, what is baptism, what is the, what a miracle is, uh, who, why, do we need, why do we close our eyes when praying, why do we baptize with water, and all those things. I if think. I may ask you a question, is baptism salvation? No, baptism is not it's salvation. A symbolic it's but do you not say the church has actually misinterpreted that to say a person who's decided to use uh, baptize is uh, saved? Which is yeah, yeah, that way. Yeah, some, so, some churches. Yeah, that's <coughs> most churches, a, yes, including traditional churches, Pentecostal <laughs> churches. I'll give you an example. No, I've followed go go the church and the church story. Um, I may. Don't apologize, just I'm, give you a thought. I'm, I know. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sometimes I criticize the church because I you're want us, the church, to do good because I'm part of that church. You're supposed to. When I sit down, I have actually learned to say, um, I've actually say, learned to say, um, um, I've actually learned to say, you know, do you not say we have people that have grown in church and they are not saved? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. And they are possible. old, like they're even above 50 and have been in the church yes. for more than 20 yes. years. And unfortunately, are these are the church. people that when they die, unfortunately, they're not going to heaven and it pains me. Mm. And that's where now discipleship comes, uh, discipleship comes, comes in. Comes in. Uh, especially in the traditional churches. Do you know there are two baptisms? This baptism we go in with water and uh, the rest. And you know there's the baptism of the Holy Ghost. 
I come from a traditional church, by the way, and all these are in the Bible. Yeah. And you read them, and when you read them. So the question that comes in there, in discipleship as a church, especially in my country here, mm. we have missed it. Mm. I, I don't care whether uh, 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 Pentecostal, uh, yeah. traditional churches, and we it's, have missed it's, it. It's worse off with the, the Pentecostals. That because, you, you know, that the issue that is there is, uh, I'll give you an example, a person is converted today, we don't take them home. From the traditional churches, instead of discipling them in the things of the Bible and the church, we disciple them in the doctrine of the oh, church, church, and it is wrong. You talked of uh, uh, most traditional churches, you talked of uh, some church and stuff like that. I don't want to mention names here. But the question that comes here is, I can tell you, I take you to one of the traditional churches, those strong traditional churches, okay? You will, they will tell you the tradition of the church from A up to Z mm -hmm. without forgetting anything. And they follow it to the core, yeah. but they don't follow it to the core of the Bible. What the discipleship is a person who has converted and you begin to give them what is salvation? What is that you need to do in salvation? What is the package of salvation? What are the benefits of salvation to you? You know this issue to say, from traditional churches, they will tell you, no, tongues are, for, are gifted and stuff like that. What kind of tongues? If you're going to tell people about tongues, including things, people from Pentecost, what tongues are we talking about? The tongues of angels, tongues of men. Mm -hmm. And at what particular time are the tongues supposed to apply? Which tongue needs to be applied? Okay? All that needs to be in discipleship. Yeah. Secondly, the salvation, when we talk of salvation, what are the benefits of salvation? To you as an individual, in salvation, this is the package of salvation. Okay, and this is what is required of you as a saved person, and we've missed it completely. Uh, baptism Especially class on, on salvation, that's where now they need to explain to you the conflict that is between the uh, between the spirit and your flesh. flesh. Yeah, yeah. I think they need to tell you to say, in as much as you are saved, the flesh and the desires of the flesh will continue also to bother you, mm. but you need now to now develop you come that. Down self-control and rely on the spirit to guide you and to give you power to win over your flesh. Mm. I think you, you can continue. So, what I want to do. the other thing that I wanted to make mention of what he is saying. You see, I've heard stories where um, I was actually sharing the, the word of God with someone and I asked them, do you want to be saved mm. or are you saved? Mm. And he says, no, there are certain things I need to work on for me to be saved. I laughed. Mm. And for me, I looked at it to say, this is it. Um, lack of information and knowledge. And when the Bible says, my people perish for lack, lack of knowledge. knowledge. Yes. Okay. So for that, and he says, I will reject them because they've rejected my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Now, the question that you come in there, most people, they feel, I need to be perfect for me to be saved. Yeah. And God says, come as you are. As you are. And Jesus is accused of they, interacting with him. They, they, they want you, but they want better. Yeah. Uh -huh. You come with the, 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 the date. date so that you are what? So, and if I am saved, I'm, effect, I'm, I'm expected to be perfect. Mm. No, you tell people you are not perfect and you will not be perfect. What makes you perfect and be accepted in the sight of God is you accepting Jesus because you take up the righteousness of Christ. Yeah. And when you present you yourself, righteousness. yes. So when you present yourself to God, He sees Christ in you. He does not you, see you. Yes. Okay. So now in that discipleship, now you find to say a person is like, no, I am saved. I'm supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to do. This. You tell them to say, salvation is taking Christ. Let Christ lead. Yeah. So now you begin to tell them, now, now there's an issue of killing the flesh. How do you kill the flesh? I can promise you, I have seen it, I have talked to people. Okay? Where, when you want to kill the flesh, Paul says it, what? Paul says, he said, why is it that what I want to do, I do not mm -hmm. do? But what I do not want to do, I find myself doing. Yes. It is wanting to is kill the flesh, the flesh and the out of your own effort, yes. out of your own uh, desire. But when you surrender yourself to God, God begins to page you, begins to prune you, begins to perfect you. Mm -hmm. He begins to do things. That is what we call discipleship. Yeah. Now, if you are going to take someone where today you want them to know everything, three quarters of things concerning salvation, why are you supposed to, to be saved? What are you supposed to be doing in that salvation? And we don't talk about salvation. Even today in churches, how many, when was the last time you went to, okay, just random churches, including the ones you see on Facebook and online. 
Today the church does not talk about salvation. Today it's not a popular sermon. No, it's not a popular sermon. But do you know the reason, the core reason why we are Christ saint as to the Great Commission? Go and preach yes. to them when they believe. Mm-hmm. Baptize them. Yes. Bring people. So the, the point you are putting across is that uh, if these churches disciple their members, there will, there will be any need for us to prevent such men of God from No, coming. they will actually go on their own. Mm-hmm. They will go on their own. It's like, you see, uh, if uh, you teach or you know to say, I need to do this. I want to put a very good example. You know the sound of um, your car. Today, you go and start your car. It gives you a wrong sound. Mm. You says, no, this is not the right sound. Mm-hmm. You, even if you want to go, you call the mechanic. Mm. Can you come and uh, fit? Because you know. Mm. When you know, and when you're given the wrong thing, mm. you will not say, this is not mm. genuine. You know the taste of Coca-Cola. If you're going to taste anything that does not taste like Coca-Cola, mm. you will not uh, you will not, you say no. This you've sold me something else. But the danger is this: uh, the region cannot be regarded as just uh, any other only thing because it influences uh, people's mindset and uh, influences the the morality of a nation. So you cannot. It's not one of those things that you can just know. But I can feel any but wait because they are they have uh, um, a capacity of. Uh, there are certain cults, I'll give you an example in the States, of a guy, after he was discovered, he later on poisons everyone, no, let's, let's drink this poison and stuff. That, that's the danger of cults. So, as a, as a government, the, the primary duty is to protect your citizens. Yes. So, if you feel this individual, regardless of whether, because not everyone will get to that level of Christianity, people, I'm, I'm a result, people... Well, I, I want to put a challenge. What's the challenge? <laughs> the challenge is, you see what takes people to such places, mostly is poverty. Yeah. Mm. You can tell me here and challenge you, mm. challenge me. Mm. If in those those people that actually go towards these guys, mm. you will find a wealthy person. Yeah. So mostly, yeah. so mostly it's poverty. Why they incline so much to miracle money? Because you see what happens, it's like sometimes we preach a gospel to say when you go to God you stop suffering mm. and actually life becomes mm. good, including mm. money begins Which to flow to you and stuff like that. Mm. And that is where we have missed it as a church. Because now we thinking God has become a solution for our poverty. Mm. Yes, he's God and salvation. God does not allow and promote laziness. No. Not at all. Okay? Actually, we need to preach also. God didn't want us to work. He wouldn't have given us one, the mind, the mm-hmm. brain, mm-hmm. and the eyes. He was going to be giving us other things. Yeah. Even when he gives you something, he rained yeah, mana, mana for... Yeah. Mana yeah. Mana yeah. 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 He wasn't putting it in their mouth. So they to but be. these guys, they're trying to become people that are going to put money in their mouth. In mouths. their accounts and stuff like that. So... The challenge that is there mm-hmm. as a government now is mm-hmm. to make sure the poverty levels are high. Mm-hmm. I can promise you, if the poverty levels go high, secondly, mm-hmm. we also need to improve our healthy systems. Mm-hmm. Because if most people are getting this help from mm-hmm. uh, normal, uh, health uh, normal health centers, because there are certain things that honestly, yeah. uh, uh, medical staff, you know, there are certain things you don't need prayer. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. prayer can do anything. Mm-hmm. You don't need prayer. You mm-hmm. need medical attention. Yes, yes. You need medical attention. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why they put up? But why? Why have you that? You know that kind of thing. You know, because these are things where now also the level of literacy needs to so uh, literacy, poverty, literacy, poverty, uh, and uh, uh, improving uh, health, system. health yeah. systems. Yeah. Because what I can promise you, what people go do there are about three major things. Mm. So Wanting so to much. hear uh, an assuring, assuring yeah. message to say when you are with God, your poverty will shine. Yes. Secondly. An mm-hmm. illness that mm-hmm. this person becomes so desperate yes. and they don't care who's going to give them a solution. True. True. Okay. Yeah, TP Joshua said something like this to say, if you say I'm not genuine and you can offer solution, give solution to these people, they'll come to you. When they come to me, I offer solution. That's the reason why people follow me. Mm. Thirdly, we need to also one uh, reduce on uh, literacy levels. Literacy level, sometimes certain things you don't need to be preached to from church. No, yeah. it's about common sense and common knowledge. And reading not that common. on your own. And reading so on you your own. This person can't read even Nyanja, can't read even English, so they will rely on someone. Some the information. Because they haven't read the Bible on their own, they can't read. There was um, one, 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 one more I want to add. There was, um, uh, there's a story in uh, Acts of uh, a certain girl that was possessed. I think Peter and uh, 
should be joined. Rejected the demon in the Yes. Or on the business, young guys. Yes, on the business, young guys. At first, she was preaching and she was saying things which yeah, were yeah. actually These in are line. Of God. These yeah. are real men of God. Believe whatever they are yes, telling. Yes. What she was saying was actually true. True. Yeah. But she was not. Operation. The source of that was actually to say, look, these are genuine guys. And you know, I've told you they are genuine guys. I've and just as genuine as they are, that's how genuine I am. Facts. You, 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 you get that, that point. That, 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 that mm -hmm. So now, at that particular time, the way these uh, courts work, these are more points where now, as this person has got a backing that is not of God, and yet you should know to say that the devil knows also the type of underwear, I mean the color of your underwear, mm -hmm. the devil knows what is in your fridge. Yeah. And even without him being fed by other people, like they say, no, but my love, but no, he is able to know. There's what you call familiar spirits. Yes, yeah. familiar spirits. They are familiar with whatever happens. They are divine. You, you. <laughs> yes, it's not all familiar spirits. That's why I don't like when things to do it. No, I'm impressed. So, <laughs> so familiar spirits. So he knows. Okay. It's like a situation uh, where. Uh, of, uh, yeah, I uh, <laughs> It's like he, Daniel. Daniel is praying. The instruction has been issued, mm -hmm. and the answer has been given. Yes. The angel is coming. Absolutely. How did the devil know? Mm -hmm. Because the devil knows what is happening. The devil hears what yes. announcements are given. Yes. He blocks yes. because he knows to say this guy is going to be doing exploits. Yes. Yes. So there's what you call familiar spirit. Mm -hmm. That girl had a familiar spirit. Mm -hmm. They had to cast out that demon out of her. When they cast out that demon, and the girl just become dumb, and the person who was actually using that girl got upset to say, yes, you've killed my business. business. And yes. they started like chasing the men of God out of there. So in this whole thing, we need to know what is a familiar spirit. Yeah. A familiar spirit will say things that are familiar, but not things that are coming deep inside of God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So that is the part where I can... And mostly they are not being beneficial. They are not beneficial to the kingdom of God. They are not beneficial to... And they do not point glory to God. Not at all. So it's if crazy. someone, a man of God, is going to say something, and you cannot see where you're going to start praising God, God for, but just know to say that is... Nice. So those are the things we need to be talking about in discipleship. Yeah. That, 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 that's a nice wind down. So, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we share some thoughts. I'm impressed with Mulanga. I didn't know he was there. <laughs> 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 so, th those are our thoughts about uh, these uh, men of God, uh, including Sia Wan, who seems to be making a lot of statements about Zambia. But, uh, as, as we've said, uh, seek your information or discipleship uh, for your own. Don't, don't wait for secondary information from yeah. others. Yeah. Uh, God reveals himself to you as an individual. Just like Mlanga said, when the Spirit comes into you, he's going to guide you on what is right and what is wrong. In as much as the information that you expose yourself to matters a lot, but it's you and the Spirit that is able to evaluate. Otherwise, those are our thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Share with the video with whoever you feel it's going to help. And we'll catch you next time. This has been Kutika.